kamu cantik cantik dari hatimu you are beautiful 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 kamu cantik cantik How you doing, guys? Sorry, caught me in the middle of uh, yeah. I'm a little in the middle of a little bit of self care, self love. You guys know how it is. Wait, I think I'm just about done. Ah, feeling fresh, guys. Hey, there I am. A little bit of care on his uh, furry face as well. So we decided to give him a little of a masking treatment. We're gonna see how that turns out later on. Perhaps he's got a softer coat on his face. But anyway, I'm doing this because I'm actually waiting for Shafira. She should be coming by. She called me earlier and said, I need your help, blah, blah, blah. She sounded all panicky. I'm not sure why. And let's once again say hello to B-Boy and the Buds. Hey, guys. Hey, everyone. How important is, uh, how important is skincare to you guys? Do you guys take care of yourselves? Do you guys do any kind of masking treatments? Yeah. Don't lie. Sometimes. Don't lie to me. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of aloe vera. Uh oh, wait, sorry guys, Shafira's here. Hey, hey! Hello. Nothing like a little salsa music to yeah, I invade know, right? my living room and kick off our day here. Shafira! Yeah, oh, are you okay? Have, have a seat, have a seat. Are you alright? What's wrong? off today. You, you look like you're okay coming in, but now look, what happened? I look so pale, right? Yes, do you yeah. have instant noodle? Because I'm instant noodle? Why right. do you want to eat that for? Anything instant. I'm starving. Starving? Exactly, because I've, I found nothing in my house. Probably, I don't know. Really? Maybe you have. You're starting some... to sound like uh, my neighbor Karina is always coming here to eat. But well, well, you normally you're okay. I don't okay. know. I think maybe it's related to, you know, world war. What? Uh, food crisis in Ukraine, probably. What? Maybe you have, like, instant... Uh, can I take a look at your kitchen? In your yeah, kitchen? but wait, 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 wait. Tell me the real story. What's happening? Uh, Why aren't you eating? Are you on a diet? Um, no, okay. Here's the truth. Um, I thought so. so. You know what, Paul? For me, self-care is important. You know? Ah, here we go. To have... You know, our favorite uh, cosmetics from ah. my favorite brand. It's like, you know, it's a self-care. It's a, you know, a self-reward for me. So I bought skincare products from abroad. What? <laughs> exactly. Okay, so, so now we're getting I'm to the bottom of the story. Of money. <laughs> you spent all your money on skincare exactly. products from abroad. What are you doing shopping from abroad? Because, you know, I can, you know, I can get a best quality probably suits on my skin tone okay, wait. and my skin condition. It's self-reward, Paul. Yes. But we live in Indonesia. In fact, you may not know this, but over half the women that live here in Indonesia, 54% to be exact, of women here that uh, live in Indonesia use local beauty products. Really? That's right. I didn't know about that. In fact, bam, I have it prepared for you. Have a look behind you there. And what? this is a from a recent survey that was done. Look at that, 54% of women in Indonesia use local brands. 35% don't really have a, pre uh, a preference. In fact, you're part of the minority. I think this is part of me. You are part of that small group. Oh, <laughs> That's right. Um, so there you go. Really? Now, Why? Uh, obviously there's a lot of advantages to this as well. First of all, Local products are going to understand your skin, mm -hmm. local women, a lot better than uh, international products. They're made for women here. Really? And in fact, it's also, it's got a, it's got a, a lot of side effects to it as well. And oh. from a good sense, because it's actually going to benefit the economic growth of our country as well. Uh, the industry ministry recently, recently said that the cosmetics sector here in Indonesia contribute to almost 2%, 1.92% of the GDP or gross domestic product wow. in 2020. So if you have like, for every 100,000 rupiah that's spent in Indonesia, like almost 2,000 of that is for cosmetics or beauty products. Huh. Every. So I didn't contribute at all then? No, you're not helping me. Because I bought the cosmetic from abroad. In fact, oh. there's been a lot of growth as well. There's been uh, the industry itself grew by 10% from the previous year. So it continues wow. to grow and you have to jump on the wagon. Good thing you're here because today for Buddy Talk, we have a couple of friends dropping by. So without any further ado, please welcome Dear Me Beauty CEO Nikita Wiradiput and Do It founder and CEO Rachel Lakiani. Hi, ladies. Hello. Come on in. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Nice to meet 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 you. Nice to
Thank you for Hi. dropping by. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Have a seat. Have a seat. Okay. We'll make we'll clear the sofa for you guys. Oh, it's all good. This is uh, this is my friend Shapira, Hello. and this is uh, Stray. Hi, Stray. Yes, he should be finished his mass treatment. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, look at that. Fluffier than ever. Perfect. Okay, we don't need this anymore. It's all dry anyway. So anyway, so, um, great to have you guys here. Thank Thanks you for so having much. us. So um, I'm going to start with you, Nikita. How did you get into the uh, the cosmetic and beauty industry here in Indonesia? So I know that I always wanted to be an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. I want to experience how to build my own business. Mm -hmm. But then, like, um, I was just waiting for that opportunity. I don't know what kind of industry that I want to get into. And then all of a sudden, the, this opportunity arises and they say, hey, let's do beauty business together. And I said, okay. So we're all taking a leap of faith. And then the next thing I know, I'm in the manufacturers making lip creams. Nice. Right. Yeah. And it was, it was just starting to grow, wasn't it? For like yeah. five, six years yeah. ago? Yeah, we took about a year to prep everything because none of us come from a beauty background. Okay. So we have to really learn everything from scratch. We actually started this everything from zero. Okay, oh, wow. Yeah. And look where you are now. <laughs> Amazing. Wow. So let's talk about Do It as well. Yeah. When did you, uh, when was it founded and how did you get started? I had been planning it since 2018. Sure. And 2019 took a year to prep everything. We were supposed to launch March 2020. Oh. And I remember that was exactly the time the whole world shut down. Yes. So literally, we had to like put a hold on everything and kind of re we strategize, mm -hmm. we figure out what we're supposed to do. And we ended up launching in the middle of the pandemic, but it ended up being better than ever because people right. like really cared about skincare. They really wanted to take care of themselves. And we actually provided a quote unquote hands-free way to take care of yourself. Okay. So we use applicators and unique packaging to make sure their hands are not really touching their body while they're using their product. Oh, wow, okay. So it ended up being... So you used like, it like as a strategy yeah, almost. Yeah, we, we kind of used the pandemic in our benefit and we ended up like launching from there and now all of our products have this whole hands-free concept. Oh, wow. That is so <laughs> cool. Yeah. Good idea. How much capital do you... I started from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> the rough ballpark. Yeah, <laughs> We're talking numbers now. Starting with us, we, we only have enough to really launch the eight lip creams that we started with. Okay. And then the rest, we just kind of like try to sustain from there. We didn't really, we didn't really have enough budget, but um, luckily, we uh, I have two partners with me. So at least we have two people that we can actually discuss our strategies and how we're going to move forward from this. Because, you know, it's all about having a faith. Okay. Right on running this business and really, really work hard on it and okay. then try to sustain from there. So, so you yeah. had to uh, basically use your own revenue and capital to start? Like you didn't have any investors to, to start Not off to with? Start. Really? Yeah. Wow, okay, so it is a leap of faith. Did you really into skincare or beauty products? Yeah, I mean, I was. So, okay, so backstory, I ran a branding agency. Uh -huh. So I had like very, um, I had a lot of help starting. So I yeah. used our own entire, you know, branding agency to get the brand going. Yeah. So everything was kind of stealth mode and yeah. it was also like done quote unquote cheaply. Yeah. Um, so we just used our <laughs> Inexpensive, own Inexpensive, we like Inexpensive. to say. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So we kind That's of just good. used our own staff. Yeah. Okay. And I used my own resources within that agency at that time mm. to launch everything. So cool. Humble beginnings for sure. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, and then like she was saying, we got revenue started and yeah. then from there we invested it back into the company. Well, you guys have a lot in common, but uh, where you guys start to differentiate yourselves is the concept. You both have uh, slightly different yeah. concepts. Yeah. So, with uh, Dear Me Beauty often collaborates with food yeah. products. Meanwhile, yeah. I'm familiar with that. Right? And then well. Do It carries the concept of hands free, which you just shared with us. Yeah. So, um, I guess we'll start with uh, uh, Dear Me first. So what's the, what's the concept here when it comes to um, having collaborations with food products? How does that work? <laughs> wow. Uh, wait, sorry, we have another visitor. I don't know if we have space in the sun. Oh, don't worry, it's just uh, C-Jack oh, delivering. Okay. Yes. C-Jack, you changed your hair. Yeah, it's oh, like by me. Oh, okay. Using any local beauty products, me. perhaps? <laughs> Sorry, Paul. I hope Sorry, you, guys. I hope you can wear your helmet with that thing. Okay. Anyway, what is it? Thank, thank you. Thank you. Oh, which for me? this is for, is it local is brand? It for Rachel or Nikita? Both. Nikita. Which one is for Nikita? Nikita. Which one is okay. for Rachel? This one? For correct? Nikita. Is that correct? I have no idea what you're saying sometimes. Okay. All good. Are we good? We're good. You have anything else? Oh, for us for you. Okay, I'm you gonna need to give them a tip I'm gonna later. tip you out. Okay, oh, right? We'll okay. tip you. We'll tip Bye. you. Five stars. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. bye, -bye. <laughs> what have we got there? So let's start with Nikita. What have we got there? The CJ on time, as always. 
Okay, so um, I brought some of the collabs. Yeah, oh, okay, okay perfect. The so. Yeah. Now. Okay. Um, so the very first brand that we finally uh, managed to, you know, pitch to them, and then they finally agree with us. Mm. Uh, we didn't think they would agree. Okay. Honestly speaking. Because it was just a strange. Because idea. it was all like all in the air, and they're like, okay, look, uh, we sell biscuits, <laughs> and you sell cosmetics. <laughs> yeah. So how are you gonna link this two? Okay, we start working on it, and then we come up with Nissin first. This is the first and collaboration. This is the very first collaboration with, cool. with that we did, and then we um, continue on with Sasa, which is. Aha. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was there emailing us. Everybody was messaging us saying, "Are you seriously collaborating with Sasa? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, is this going to smell like Sasa? Right, like, right. Oh, okay, That's the first thing people think. Yeah, of. MSG. Yeah, because they're all like, "It's MSG," <laughs> and they're like, "Are they making MSG line of cosmetic?" And we're like, "Okay, wait for it, wait for." It. And then we come up with uh, we come up with our lips because our hero product are always our lips yeah. collection. And then yeah, we have numbers of message coming yeah. us to us and say, okay, does it taste like MSG? <laughs> yeah, does it taste like MSG? And we're like, it doesn't taste like MSG, but you know, we kind of created the ideas from there. And then here we go, we come up with a lips collection. Oh, and then so the next uh, big thing that we did, we managed to do a collaboration with KFC. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. no kidding, that's what it was. I was trying to look <laughs> yeah. at what was those pictures yeah. of. Those like are drumsticks. Yeah, so oh the latest goodness. lip collection that we did was actually with KFC. Mm. And it was such a big honor because we can say that we're probably one of the first few brands that be able to collaborate with KFC right. and come up with a whole range of collection, not just for the but also for our skincare line. Nice. Wow. Yeah. No, I wouldn't oh, mind if I had some chapstick that tasted like KFC. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> now people recognize your brand is uh, uh, full of collaboration. Yes. People are waiting for the next collaboration. Yes. So, um, who is initiate, initiate the collaboration with those brands? Um, in the beginning, it was our idea. Yes. Okay. So we actually tried to find contacts and then, you know, we had a couple of rejections right. obviously in the beginning, but mm -hmm. it didn't really stop us there. Like we just kept trying and kept trying and then uh, we got the opportunity and now we're very thankful because we actually have brands messaging. Oh, now wow. they're approaching you. We're approaching us. There you go. They're approaching us and saying that, hey, can we do something similar to Nissin? Can we do something oh, similar to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we're very excited about it. And then now it's becoming like our secret cool. marketing collaboration. Yeah. Yes, and I think yeah. that there's value added to, even though they're a large like corporation as well, that they want to do something different for exactly. their customer yes. base as well. So let's talk about Do It, yeah. uh, hands free. So yep. now that we have it, I'm we can visualize brand, it. Actually. Thank you. Yeah, let's <laughs> have a look. What have you got? Okay. So let's start with, okay, so the famous one that everyone's been talking about is the fact that our Dio is refillable. Yeah. So you can actually buy the inner pod on its own and you don't have to waste money buying the outer case right. all the time. Very thoughtful. Yeah, you can buy this and uh, whatever you use with our brand, you can send us back the packaging and we send it to Waste for Change. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So okay. So that's, that's the deal. That's uh, the popular one. That's yeah. the really popular one. Thank goodness. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I like it when people smell nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, another thing that actually really attracted people to our brand was the fact that we were one of the first ones to do lotion hands-free. Yeah. So you can actually just like apply the lotion and never really use your hands. Yeah. You, can, like, you don't have work. to do this. No, and it can what? and this will actually spread all the lotion all over. <laughs> And then we started thinking about how to use like applicators in a different way because mm. some people do want to use their hands, some people don't. So we came up with a body wash and a body scrub that you can actually use a duo uh, brush to use. So this part is for the scrub and okay. this part is for the wash. So actually <laughs> the colors have like a meaning on its own. Right. Our main color is blue. Okay. And um, when we talk about hydration, so any products that are hydration are peach. Oh, any products that are heat protectant yes. are yellow. Oh, okay. And any products that are uh, products that are hygienic are uh, for hygiene purposes oh, are green. Oh, I love the green. Yeah. And apart from like the packaging and the colors looking really cute, I mean, Thank the you. thing that I'm attracted to very much now is the deodorant because of the fact that it's refillable because we're always yeah. tossing away these plastic. Yes. Um, it's more, yeah, it's exactly. a sustainable product. Why did you choose to have that as part of your brand and your product as well? Why is that important mm -hmm. to do it? Okay, so first thing is we all use so much skincare. I mean, you you know as well mm -hmm. skincare. And Tell me about it. I personally was buying up all these products, doing research, and yeah. I was like, oh my god, I'm throwing out so much of this. Mm -hmm. Imagine the number of people that are using body wash every day and just throwing it out. So one of the things we thought about was how do we make it more environmentally friendly? How do we allow people to actually use our product without feeling so bad or making such a big waste? Sure. And so we're trying to make sure that everything you buy is refillable or or um, you can actually refill. Okay. Yeah. 
So okay. very well, you, right? It seems like both of you are focused on uh, issues that the world is currently facing. For example, Dear for Me crisis, focuses on... Mean? Not that for now. I mean, <laughs> it's not affecting you at least, Shapira. But um, uh, Dear Me seems to focus on diversity as well. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Um, I think from day one, we have a mission that we're just going to keep making beauty better. But then how are we going to continue making beauty better? And we have come into a realization that beauty should be accessible for everyone. Mm -hmm. And we really try to emphasize that through our face makeup campaign, which focuses on foundation. And we work with different um, types of people. Really. We work with diverse of people, different types of age group and everything. And then from then on, we really try to convey that message that beauty is for everyone. All right. We're going to take a short break here, but don't go anywhere. We still have so much more talking about local beauty products and how they're important powering the women here in Indonesia. Uh, we'll be right back with All more right. here on Buddy Talk. Us here yeah. on Buddy Talk and still with them. We have Rachel and Nikita from Dear Me Beauty and Do It as well. Guys, we were talking earlier and I think it was Nikita who mentioned that, you know, you go through trial and error in the beginning of the business. You have failures, which is why you're able to know what to do and what to fix. Um, I'm sure not all feedback has been glowing and wonderful. Yeah. So let's start with you, Rachel. Okay. What sort of feedback did you get in the beginning that perhaps still stuck with you to this day or maybe perhaps was pivotal in you being able to make changes in your business in order to make it the success it is now? Okay, so um, like with any other business, there's always a lot of comments, but sure. one specifically that really struck to me was we launched a product, it's called Cooling Cream, and the applicator for it was like a metal applicator. And mm. you know, we're really big with our applicators, so we were like, yeah, for sure this is gonna work um, we got a few warnings that it might spill on the way to people like during uh, the delivery yeah. but we tried a couple of deliveries and everything went smooth oh. um, fast forward like many thousand pieces later right. almost every single person complained oh no it was so it leaked or something it leaked on the way oh. so oh, while when it. they opened the packaging the product burst oh. and yeah. everything leaked so what we did was we quickly took back everything yes and we actually put the product on hold. We ordered new packaging, completely different. It became a pump packaging mm. and we reproduced it. So it wasn't in the market for a good like five months, mm. oh, wow. but we actually listened to everyone. We spoke to everyone and we decided, okay, even if we're gonna lose money from this, let's just pull everything out and rechange our packaging. That's amazing wow. that- I so mean, That was like really hard, but uh, it was good. And I'm sure it was wow. costly yeah. as well, yeah, but again, was. if you put your customer's interest first, that's yeah. really nice. Yeah. How about you, Nikita? <laughs> Any comments or experiences you remember? We're very huge on our lips collections okay. and sometimes you know we have people messaging back to us saying that how come the color is so different than right. what they saw on the web but sometimes when we took photos it's a bit hard to kind of like really matching it of with course. the colors. Mm -hmm. Even so, on your phone it looks different. Exactly yeah. so when you see it on your computer screen when you see it on your phone and when you see it somewhere else it's a completely different color sure. but we did try hard to manage that but however, uh, we still have like, you know, people coming up to us and say, oh yeah, we bought this, how come the color is so different? But then again, you know, everyone has a different lip color, so it might look different on just everyone, literally. Right. Because like, even we tried it in the office, you know, um, some of my team members, they tried this uh, particular colors and then it looks so different when I wore it. Right, oh, on different yeah. people, it looks on different. different people, it looks very different. Right. So we did try to manage it. However, as a people-powered brand, we did listen to them and we see that as a you know like the stats for us to improve our, for our next collection okay uh, what's the solution for that by the way that must be tricky because you can't please some people right it looks course, different especially for the for the cosmetics right? yeah i mean i know you can go to a cosmetics counter and yeah. try something yeah. on your own right. skin but right. most people are shopping online these days yeah. so what's yeah. the solution for that we have a good relationship with our customers okay. so we don't just see them as you know okay we're the sellers you're the yeah. customers what well, we see them as our friends okay mm. and our best friends so we say okay we're really sorry for this that it happened but but what colors are you exactly looking for? And then we give them a lot of suggestions and then we work from there with them. Okay. And then we check up on them again, say, have you received your products? Okay. Yeah. And then um, how does it look now? It? Are you happy with it? Right. If you're not happy with it, what else can we help you further? Okay, you're better yeah. than me because I would say, <laughs> I'm sorry it wasn't the color that suits you, but should I just you buy another one? Yeah, you ordered it. It's your fault. <laughs> you're not, not, my fault. Go not a good example for 
<laughs> okay, it's time for another buddy challenge. We All right, that way. this is for <laughs> both of you. We're going to draw a clue, and you, either of you, are going to oh, try to guess what it is. So oh good at drawing. Oh, Sapira's not allowed oh, to guess, but she can give clues because right. I think she knows what I'm going to draw. Okay. All right, okay. you guys ready? Yeah. yeah. So here's the first Let's one. Go. Let's. Uh, Whoa. Okay, these are iconic products that have to do with beauty or fashion. Yeah. So yeah. hopefully you'll be able okay. to. I'm going to give out. you the clue. Now I'm not a very good. Um, I'm going to give you the. Not clue. very good at drawing, so you're going to have to bear with me. No. Whoa. Oh my god, Looks it's like not a, a clue, it's the answer. Uh, is it an old school camera? <laughs> it's a brand. It's a brand, it's very oh, popular. Oh, perfume. it's a perfume. Yes. Uh, um, please uh, guess the brand, the key, the one of the Chanel. No. Yeah! yeah. yeah. <laughs> Isn't that not like the iconic <laughs> Chanel number five? Yes, right? Exactly, that's yes, why. Yes, yeah, put the old. The uh, number five. Yeah. Number five. Yeah. There you go. All right, good job. One for one. Okay, the second one. Here we go. Colors. Um, Rachel got one, Nikita still zero. Yeah. Still have time oh, no. to catch up. <laughs> well, we've only done one, so you have Oh my to god. It's so easy. Oh. It's popular. Can I get it? Uh, Guess because again? Of the, Go ahead. Because of the, the Carrie Bradshaw. Yeah! yeah. 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 Look at that! Oh, wow. I thought it was looking like a dinosaur, oh. but oh. you got it. Oh, oh, wow. Wow. Do you have a pair? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, last one. This one's going to be very difficult, so please do bear with me. Um, okay. I'm going off the top of my head. I, this is really bad. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to be so um, bad. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> what, what is, is, it, is it a fashion brand? Yes, yes, it's yes, a yes, yes, high end, a premium. Brooks Brothers? No, 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 no. no, 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 no I know it's again. Yeah, what? I I'm gonna let you guess. Right? Right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Oh my God. Oh, wow, wow, yeah. Rachel. <laughs> what the heck is that? I have no idea. It looks like some weird rush hour traffic in Jakarta. But anyway, there you go. There's a horse, a car. Oh, it's wow. supposed to be a horse, a carriage, and a man. And this, know the, the brand theory. would go underneath oh there. So anyway, God. yay, good job. Oh. Ooh, that's a lot of work. I'm very, I'm very oh bad. my God. That's, that's not you're, bad. You're not good bad. at drawing. Oh. Amazing, amazing. So uh, Nikita and uh, Rachel, you guys are doing a business and you see lots of local products. How did you guys, uh, you know, uh, facing the competition? You guys are still in the same industry, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. How do you guys manage? And probably a strategy? I'm going to tell you a funny story about how Nikita <laughs> and I first met. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> it was launching our um, next three SKUs. Everything had been planned. We'd been planning it for a year. Right. And like, literally, I think it was like a week before we yeah. launched, uh -huh. I saw that Dear Me Beauty posted the three exact same products. Oh, no. Oh, That's so, I call her. <laughs> Hi Nikita, this is Rachel from Do It. Are you really launching those products? Because I want to move my launch date. You know, like we're launching in a week. Yeah. Right. And she's like, Rachel, don't worry. Those are sketches. We didn't mean anything by it. Like, like really, we're going to have competition. Mm -hmm. And she's the one that actually made me realize it really doesn't matter what you guys launch. Just yeah. support each other, mm -hmm. be nice to each yeah. other. We ended up being friends after that, which is really yeah. nice. Oh, what a great backstory. Yeah. 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 I was so appreciative that she was like, really, Rachel, don't worry about it. Oh. Everyone launches similar things, believe in your story, believe oh, in your nice. brand, and it was like, it's really nice. Oh, now wow. you have a friendship to come out with. <laughs> so you pretty much canceled out my question, which was the last question. I was going to ask that how, as uh, young women CEOs, yeah. do mm -hmm. you support yeah. others? But I guess that's exactly my yeah, answer by working with other beautiful. brands as yeah. well yeah. and by just being transparent and open with each yeah. other. Because, right, right, uh, right. hey, great ideas are not just one. There's plenty of them out there, and some might, might have a similar idea than you, but it's yeah. nice that you guys are so supportive. Yeah. So thank you so much, ladies, for joining us here today. It's thank been you great so to have much. you. Much success to you both. And uh, looking forward to hearing more great things coming from Dear Me as well as Do It. Thank you. Thank you so All much. Right. Anyway, that's it. We're out of time. Uh, you want to eat? No, I'm thinking you about what will I do with my international brand. Uh, sell it. <laughs> Resell. Ah, free love. That's right. I can buy some local stuff. All right. So I can buy my own. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we got to go, guys. But thank you so much for tuning in and joining us here in my lounge. Don't forget to tune in every Saturday and Sunday night at 8 p.m. here on C Today for new episodes of Buddy Talk. On behalf of Shafira, on behalf of Rachel Nikita, and Stray with his oh, wow. new fresh look. <laughs> yeah, my name is Paul Palali signing <laughs> off for now. We'll see you guys next time. Take care.
B-Boy and the Buds, bring us home.